everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to make a diabetic friendly scallop potato with cheese. So, I'm going to use my salad mass machine, cone number 4, to cut my potatoes. Potato is a vegetable that is grown under the ground, so you don't peel. Just wash it properly or brush, and cone number 4 will give you the slight cut. Potato, similar to rice, it has so much starch. And if you have diabetes, you have to avoid too much starch into your diet. Because starch becomes sugar and sugar becomes fat inside our body. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wash it just like we wash our rice before we cook it. So this is the water I collected from washing the potato. Later, at the bottom of this bowl, the starch will settle. So you can see how much starch I was able to collect. Now I'm going to cook it. This is my three-quart roaster. I added an inch of water there. And look at the water, it's so clear. After cooking, that water will be sim similar to this one. So while you're cooking, you're actually destarching further. So I'm going to put this insert on the top. Very similar to steaming. In salad masa, we don't steam, we mist. Because steaming uses a very high temperature that's killing the nutrition in our vegetable. In misting, we actually control the temperature. So as you hear the clicking, it means the temperature on the inside is around 86 degrees Celsius. And to protect our vegetable from overheating, which is an enemy to nutrition, we turn it down to low. So you start cooking at medium heat. When you hear the click, 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 you turn it down to low for about 20 to 25 minutes. So while we're waiting for the potatoes to cook, we can prepare our cheese. Let's use cone number one, which is perfect for grating your cheese. It's always better if you buy block cheese, because it's cheaper and less preservatives. Normally, people will add butter or milk in their potato, mashed potato or scalloped potato. We'll try to avoid those extra fat. Instead, we'll just add the cheese. But you know the cheese has fat, the fat will go to the water too. So during cooking, you're actually defatting, you're actually de-starching further. So it's good for people with diabetes. When you hear the clicking, turn it down to low. In the meantime, the water that we collected when we washed the potato, can you see the amount of starch settled at the bottom of the bowl? Now I'm going to throw the water so you can see a clear picture of the amount of starch that I was able to remove. Okay, so this is the amount of starch that we were able to collect from washing two pieces of potato. And if it gets to our body, it becomes sugar. Sugar becomes fat. So if we don't keep on exercising, we don't burn the fat, it's bad for people with diabetes. After 20 minutes, our potato is cooked. Okay, so after cooking the potato, the stove is off, we can put the grated cheese on the top. So the residual heat of the cookware will actually melt the cheese. And the fat from the cheese will actually go to the three-quart roaster under this mister. So while you're cooking, you're actually defatting and also de-starching. Okay, now the cheese is melted. And that is our scallop potato with cheese. Diabetic friendly. And then I'm gonna show you the water under. And this is the water from the three-quart roaster. Can you see the fat that's coming from the cheese? And the whitish in the water is the starch that came out of the potato. As I said to you, during cooking, you're actually defatting and you're actually de-starching. You can actually add some red onion during cooking to add more color and flavor into your potato and cheese. Happy cooking! Thank you for watching! Don't forget to click subscribe or put some comments and suggestions down below. Bye!